akina mama wapi vigelegele in a bid to increase water capacity in Tharakanithi County, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta has commissioned the Kajuki Water Treatment Plant that will provide water for 25,000 locals in Tharakanithi County. The First Lady, who was accompanied by the First Lady of Zimbabwe, Amai Auxiliam Nagagwa, received accolades for her projects that have touched the lives of many Kenyans, including the Beyond Zero campaign. It's painful when we see many children miss school or are too frail to learn because of diarrhea or cholera. Poor health culminatively diminishes our productivity as a nation. You are pri privileged to have this water treatment plant installed in your community. Cherish it, value it, and guard it jealously. <laughs> In Limuru, Kiambu County, police have impounded a lorry ferrying more than 1,300 cider posts with a street value of 400,000 shillings believed to have originated from Mao Forest in Naro County. The driver of the lorry that was heading to Nairobi was also arrested. This is a cider post, and cider is indigenous. And we know, normally don't give permits for indigenous material. So they were transporting without permit. So I, thought, I, fact, I think they just wanted just... Uh, they're just trying try their luck to, to reach the market. Meanwhile, in Eldoret, students from Osin Gishu Training College are calling on the government to intervene after the institute's management allegedly failed to register them for their final exams offered through the Kenya National Examination Council. Leo hii tumekuwa tukijaribu kumongelesha anatuambia kwamba hakuna lawyer na hakuna penye tunaweza mpeleka. Tumeenda mbaka kwa, kwa polisi, tumeemu report, na polisi pia wanamutafuta. Wana In Nyeri County, what was meant to be a joyous evening for two children suddenly turned tragic after death came calling in the name of a lorry that tore into their house in Mukuroine area. The children who were engrossed watching television in the evening were among three victims who died on the spot. The lorry driver succumbed to his injuries after receiving treatment at a local health center. There we go. And women who aspire to run for political office now have a platform to fund their campaigns following the launch of the Democratic Trust Fund. Speaking during the launch, Gender Affairs Cabinet Secretary Professor Margaret Cobia said the fund that will see women aspirants save money for use during campaigns seeks to change the political landscape that has in the past disadvantaged women. And I'm happy that... Echo decided, Anna, is it Anna? No. Anna, Anna decided to give women an opportunity where you do a bit of saving and at the same time they'll be able to support you with a program that will make the difference. Alternatively, he rebut. Finally, Masinda Moliro University of Science and Technology University Academic Staff Union are calling for the end of tenure of Vice Chancellor Frederick Otieno. The union wants Otieno to leave office at the end of his term, which is set to expire, to pave way for new blood. Reporting for Channel One News, I'm Jackie Wambiru.